Hey, y'all. <clears throat> I'm doing this pre-recorded video because I'm going live tomorrow night, Friday, at uh, 8 p.m. Central Time. So it's the Red Cup Shenanigans Part 2. Bring your cup, bring your snacks, and y'all know we're going to do what we do. I'm also going to uh, talk again about doing some uh, some Zooms as well, where it's more private. So those of you that's interested in that, email me so I can see your information about it. And it'll be probably in the near future, say like a week or two. So uh, email me at readyrocks1966 at gmail.com. And this is how you spell it. R-E-A-D-I-I-R-O-X-X-1966 -I -I at gmail.com. Ready Rocks 1966 at gmail.com. R E A D I I R O X, as in Xavier, another X, 1966 at gmail.com. Put in the subject line Zoom. Okay. Uh, I'll be doing Zoom meetings where we just talk red cup, talk shit. You won't have to show your face on that, but if you want to do the exercise or the dance, you have to show your face. So let me know which one you're interested in. Okay, this video, like I said, it's pre-recorded video. This is uh it's early in the morning. It's 8:55. I did me some dance content. I posted on my shorts. I posted a video yesterday talking about Peach. So y'all make sure y'all go check it out. Catch up on the, all the content that I've been doing this week. If you haven't already been on it, don't forget to like the button, you know, hit the like button. Uh, leave some comments or just some hearts and share sometime, especially my last video that I posted last night. Please, y'all, and this one as well. I just like I said, I decided to do this pre record because I will be live live tomorrow, which is August the 9th, Friday at 8 p.m. Central Time. So, y'all, uh, I already posted that, that's already scheduled in my uh in my live portion of uh, my channel so make sure you got your notifications on so you won't miss that and then we'll also discuss again before the live is over or i'll put another community wall up uh let, let me know you know I, I know for a fact about three people are interested in that zoom but uh and that's all we need we three is good because i'll make four so that's no problem so we'll just go forward with that. And I believe it's Deborah, Reba, and TVL Design. So if it's anybody else that I did not name, I don't even know that because they contacted me saying that they'd be interested in, you know, going live on Zoom. So at the end of the day, this video is about cancel Peach McIntyre. This ain't nothing new. We have been on her ass cancel. We meaning a lot of people. Some people I know of, some people who videos I watch, some people I've seen in the comments, and people I've never seen before on um, social media or nowhere else. But every now and then you'll catch somebody in her comments when you're reading it, and they'll be like, you need to be canceled. So that's why I'm saying we as a lot of us. It's more of us that understand that she needs to be canceled and she's off the chain and she's disrespectful and she's this, she's that, and that. Nobody is, I'm not talking about her content so-called freaking content because the shit ain't content. It's just bullshit. She's just talking shit, period. Picking up her phone, talking shit, and she posts it. So I'm not talking about the shit she say about the black women, what she said about her daddy and stuff like that. I'm not really talking about that, but some of that is the reason why she needs to be canceled because we all know she's delusional. We already, you know, uh, we already pretty much analyzing and, and really getting the gist of that she needs mental help, all that is, that's not to even be debated. This video is basically about the fact that I believe, and anybody else that agree with me, get in the comments that she needs to be canceled. YouTube, Facebook, IG, and TikTok. Now, for a fact, I know Meta will get on her, but Facebook is kind of strict on certain things. So that's why she don't post every little thing over there like that. She don't. She know better. And TikTok would get on her, especially with somebody 
is on her live, say, for example, like I've been in her lab and I reported that live because she was going in HOEs, B-I-T-C-H, just saying reckless shit. So I reported it and then they check it right then and there. And at, right after that, at least two times that I've done that, her lives were suspended. So I will say I had a part in that. Now, if anybody else did, which I'm sure I'm not the only one, because she has had her stuff taken away when I've never even reported anything. So I know I'm not the only one reporting. So they will get on her a little bit. But YouTube, and I think Angie, I'm not sure how Angie do because I've been on be over there. I got a page. I go over there probably once every two weeks. I don't like IG at all. They don't do shit for me. So I believe with my whole chest, my whole heart, she needs to be canceled because of the shit she said by Mona Lisa calling people HOEs, B-I-T-C-Hs, mostly black women. She's actually, to me, she's, it would be no different had, if they gave a shit. They say she was doing this to white women. If all she kept saying was white women this, white women that, white women are my core haters, white women this. I love black women, but white women, they be on my post saying blah, 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 blah. No, if she was just attacking, white women would come in droves, white women would have a shut down. Trust white people, period. YouTube and all that, they'll probably warn her one time. They probably just ban her for or whatever, put up the time, or they might just take a page. But she ain't doing that. She's doing it to her own kind, who people who look like her. That's what I mean by her own kind, because I ain't with her. And this is a video I just seen for the first time, you know, it was posted yesterday. Y'all listen to that. Y'all hoes be hating on me. Y'all hoes be so mad. I be making so much money in y'all hoes' face. I love that for me. Hate it for you, but love it for me. Y'all, she playing y'all. She tricking y'all. Y'all pay. And guess what? Hold somebody else don't pay me, bitch. Just for that, I'm getting me 10 orders on this motherfucker. They be so mad. Thank you, Nicole, for your business sending you a link right now. Yo, I'm not black, though. I love that for you, baby. But guess what? Your pocket's not fat either, hating that. So. You see what I'm saying? This the type of stuff. Nobody, I mean, <laughs> it's the disrespect. Well, we know when she be doing them little stupid ass arm dances and uh, chugging all the food down her goddamn throat, eating everything ain't nailed down and uh, saying how much money she didn't made and, you know, uh, her it's situation with wood, this, and you know what I'm saying? It's, we, we don't give a shit about that. That's just her saying what she say doing. She do no more than nobody say if I decide to come up here and dance every day and then have a video saying what I feel about, you know, my husband or a situation I've been through. I will never get up here and complain about my husband every day. I tell story times, memories. I touch on it. That's it. It's not like we in a situation where uh, he mistreated me. I'm so in love with him and I don't know what to do and I'm sticking with him and guess what he did today? No. It's not that anybody know the story, know the story is I don't give a shit. We just happen to be married in the same house, living together. And if I didn't have to be here, if I had enough money and a way to go, a good place to be at, a safe place, then I would be there. That's the situation with that. But with that being said, for me, she need to be canceled because of the disrespect to black women, to women, to kids. The way she talked to Miss Mona Lisa. And as of yesterday, she said, F the Lord. Now, you not only have you been disrespectful to the creator of heaven and earth, call it what you will. It depends on what you believe in. But it's the whole idea the, behind what she said. I don't care if you believe, if you're a Muslim or Buddha, Buddhist, whatever. It's not the fact of that. I'm not even a religious person. I don't go to church. I, can, I got story times about that. But I do believe in the creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in respecting people that do believe in what they believe in. You know what I'm saying? Something you I mean, I don't care about politics, but I would never get up there and just say the most disrespectful things about politicians individually. Like I might be like, F all politicians, I don't trust none of them. That's as far as I say. But I'm not gonna go and just say F Biden, you know what I'm saying? And or like she said, F the Lord. F, uh, uh, if you, if Allah, you know what I'm saying? That's very offensive to people who believe in what they believe in. 
And then she was talking also on her line about she don't like kids. People think that's because she got kids or different women got kids that they like kids. And people like me, nobody. Now, people like you that got kids, and uh, especially a lot of kids, that don't tell me you like kids. That tell me that you have a mental problem and some emotional problems, some trauma and some damage, and you was desperate enough to keep having them babies by that man or by them different men because you was trying to create something and you thought the baby's coming or the baby having a baby would make that fantasy a reality when all in all all you did is made things worse but that's another story i'll just i'm just touching on you i'm not touching that's all i'm doing is touching on things at the end of the day this video is about canceling peach mcintyre and the best way to do that is to report her videos when you see them bogusly, it don't matter if nothing happened or not. Especially do it from a laptop if you can. When it comes to YouTube, when it comes to TikTok, you don't even, you could be in the bushes and report her live. I reported her yesterday. I was in the bushes. All you do is touch, squeeze right there because you still consider looking at it, and it'll come up a box like you can see people that's in your messenger or you can send messages too. But above that, it should say report. That's for TikTok. Or you can just click on the video on TikTok and it'll ask you, you know, her page or certain content. Just start reporting. If all of us, and there's a lot of us who don't like her, report. You know what I'm saying? Report that content, not just the content that she dancing. Now, I'm talking about the content where she is calling people HOEs, talking about black women, this disrespectful shit. You know what I'm saying? Cussing people out like she do every day. Every time I go by and I hear her, as soon as she say the wrong thing, if I'm still sitting there, because I don't sit there the whole time, but I'll catch it. Like if I go spit on here right now, if she laugh nine times out of ten, if I scroll three or four things, she going to pop up. So I may sit there. Unless I'm looking for something, getting ready to do my own content, I'll sit there for a minute. And it usually don't take no more than 60 seconds to two minutes for her to say something wrong. I report, and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. So if a lot of y'all do the same thing, I know some people don't feel like the need to do that. But what will it take for you to feel like for her to do that? Well, if, if something really bad happen, like she say something to really disrespect you personally. I think that we as a society, especially as women, need to stick more together, especially black women. Like I said, has she been uh, aiming for the white? culture white women talking shit about white women is white old bitches this would never be never be but we don't take shit seriously we don't value we just want to make excuses to allow people to act the way they act until they really hit a nerve and now me personally it didn't hit a nerve for me personally for her to say f the lord but even though I'm not religious, I know that's disrespectful and that hurt a lot of people and triggered a lot of people and shocked a lot of people. I don't like it for that reason alone. Not to mention, I do believe in the creator of heaven and earth. Whether you call them Lord, Jesus, Allah, Buddha, or whatever it is. That's a whole nother level of disrespect. Like teaching her, you got to treat, you got to teach people how to treat you. And all these uh, app platforms and people that look like her and all these folks have been letting her get away with because she's some people of different races, I believe, that do, you know, kind of mess with her, but on the probably a 10% level as opposed to the black community is like the 80 to 90% maybe. I haven't really did no uh, research on that, but I'm just going by what I see in the comments when I'm... Uh, when I am looking, I mostly only look on YouTube and TikTok. I ain't gonna lie. I really don't investigate much on uh, Facebook. And I have, I have when that young man had passed away and she went to go do that uh, footage on him. I looked in, it was all black people. So I could just imagine, I think the twos and threes of white people that may catch a video when she says something like about voting for Trump or stuff like that, they may catch those and then they might get under there and say, what's wrong with you or whatever. So something like that. Or if they for Biden, that might be for her. But a lot of these people, they don't really see her. Like a lot of people didn't see her say that, what I seen. She was live. And if you don't catch the live, 
you're not going to catch it. Because even if she was to post a live and share it on another platform, who's going to sit there and watch a live from begin to end to catch everything she said? If it's a short video, a one, two minute video or a short 30 seconds, yeah. But we talking about a laugh. She could have been laughed for an hour. She could have been laughed 35 minutes. She could have been laughed for four hours. No one's going to sit there to see that. So that's why I went on. I'm glad I caught that. And that's why I shared it. And I need y'all to share that video so people can see here for their own self. Because I could have made a video saying, guess what she said? She said, y'all hear it from her own mouth. Y'all been hearing her say reckless shit. When she told Mona Lisa, who gives a F? I don't give a F. I mean, she didn't say so many nasty things and laughed at her father's death. And y'all haven't canceled her yet. I'm talking about y'all as a whole society. What is it going to take Peach Patch for her to do? To call your mammy a mammy? For her to call you out your name personally? Call you out personally? Y'all could be in the comments and generally asking her a question or giving your opinion on her behavior or how she should do her hair. And she would just go all out on phone, y'all. And y'all still talking about you can never make me hate you. No one wants y'all to hate her. She hate herself. She hate herself enough for everybody in the world. So we ain't got to hate her. We don't like how she disrespect us as black women, as human beings, saying she don't give a F about our kids. She's doing too much. She's gone too far. She's been gone too far. And by anything not happening to her on a permanent basis or a long-term basis, a longer term, like I'm talking about 30 days, 60 day situation, then she can't reapply into 90 days, something like that. Until that happens, she's going to keep doing this. And I don't give a damn if, if she ain't around to uh, do no content on. It's a whole lot of stuff I would do content on. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if I was monetized. I've been monetized before. I, I never made more than like $600 a month, but still, that's extra money. And I appreciated that. I like being able to know that I can make anywhere from $200 to $500, $600 a month. But if I know I was making thirty, forty, fifty thousand, dollars $50,000, I would have been smart enough to know that I got to put this up because next month might not be sweet. They could end this program. It's only like, especially with Facebook. It was only a trial and error basis. They was only doing it because of TikTok and they was in competition. So how anybody got so comfortable thinking that all oh, next month I could spend all this food. I can go gamble this up. I can go go on trips. I can go buy this for wood. I can go buy this for my kids. I can go buy this. I can go broke because next month my check going to be I'm foolish. You foolish, especially somebody that now you're talking about uh, evil ass, disrespectful, delusional, inhumane, nasty, cold hearted, chaos, boring content. If that's what you want to call it, because I don't, I don't call it content. I just say she puts shit out and she want to call it content. You're talking about all this shit coming from somebody like her. Not coming from somebody that's an everyday content creator, you know what I'm saying? Just doing their job as a reporter, as a reactor. They got a little entertainment with it, the way they do their videos, you know what I'm saying? They ain't coming for nobody, they ain't cussing nobody out. They not talking about a group of people, LGBT, being disrespectful to them, being disrespectful to Christians, black women, older women, kids. We, you know, it, if she was that, it'd be different. If she was just a normal person doing her content, would nobody be calling or saying she need to be canceled? Would nobody be calling her big throat, big back, disrespectful, none of that? But y'all supporters and Peach Patch want to act like we coming for her for no reason. Nobody is coming for her. No, this never started. Because y'all got to remember how she started. She started because I guess she got on here after the fire and then she started pulling out titties to feed the kids and start doing content about the projects and going on halls and stuff. Y'all don't take much to please y'all because that shit boring to me. I don't know what the hell. Well, I'm not used to that shit. I'm not used to calling that entertainment. I'm hard to please. I'm very critical. I'm a Virgo. So doing that shit, I would, I never would have thought that was the shit. I would have, if she was a nice person, I would have supported her regardless, but I would have sat there and watched it and gave her praise. Like, oh, you're such a great mom. I just would have been like another black young woman out here trying to do the right thing. And you know what I'm saying? God bless her. She got these kids. You know what I'm saying? She ain't in the best relationship, but I don't feel sorry for women in bad relationships. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I feel sorry for women in relationships that's bad because he won't leave them alone. He's stalking them. 
He's beating them, even though they filed a police report trying to get away. He won't leave them alone. He won't leave them alone. They need to do something. That, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be either him or her. Those are the things I feel sorry for. And that could be taken care of. That's another story for another day. But the people that's sitting there in these relationships, loving on these guys, loving on these women, yet complaining about cheating on me and he got outside kids or blah, blah, blah. And I ain't talking about Peach on that because she's swapping down. He ain't got no outside kids other than them grown ones. The mother girl saying that he got a baby that's lying, this, that, and the third, you know. See, there's so many levels to her. There's so many layers you can peel back from her. Her so-called content with the dancing and the teaching of the uh, e guys and she worth it, blah, blah, blah. That's one level. Then her complaining about wood. And the things that y'all seen her go through when her finna divorce him, crying, all that shit, that's another level. Then her laughing at her daddy death and talking about his other 20 kids and her mama this and her mama cheating on him. That's another level. And then her being disrespectful to her audience, to her supporters, calling them HOEs. I don't give a F. If I ain't push the kids out, it ain't matter. Come on now. What is that? Why, what is so exciting to look at? What is that so exciting to look at? Once you get the gist of it, it's like, wow, is she that person? That first shit, yeah. because you can't believe you looking at the shit you looking at, and she really said the shit she said. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to front or stunt. I'm going to, uh, I've been doing this to help get my views up because I know what people want to see. And it has been working. It has helped me get my watch hours. But once I get my watch hours, <laughs> I ain't going to sit here and say that I'm not going to uh, say something about her or do another story on her. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is my content, I'm trying to step my game up on some other shit. She would just be in there in the mix once a month or something. You know what I'm saying? Every blue moon, I might touch on it. I might touch on it, might not touch on it for 90 days or at all for a long time. It just all depends what I see. As long as I see fuckery and foolery and shenanigans and disrespect to the level she did yesterday on that live, y'all not catching these lives. I don't catch all the lives. I just happen to be scrolling and someone told me a screen record because I could feel the energy when somebody said something in the comments. So I turned it on and that's when she said what she said. F the Lord. F the kids. I don't like kids. I only like my kids. You don't like your kids. You had them kids to hold on to them men because all them kids ain't wood. So when you was having kids by other people, probably either an accident because you and Wood was in between a makeup breakup type of situation. He was doing him and you was doing you for a minute. And then the crossfire, you got pregnated and then y'all got back together so you want to fake it. And he faking it till he make it because you got them coins. He can't go no any other round away girl, a regular every, everyday woman that's making the coins you making right now. And the ones that are, they not foolish enough to give him what you giving him. You're delusional to the point where you think he a real good man. You you believe in your own lies. You're believing that he really don't drink no more. He drinks and he's drugging. And that's what looked like to me because it's written all over his face. But anyway, y'all, I'm not going to hold y'all. This video is 23 minutes so far. So hit the like button. Go catch up on my shorts that I did today, yesterday, all week. Catch up on my lives for the exercises. Do the replay. Don't forget to hit the like button on all of them. I'll see y'all tomorrow on my live for the Red Cup Shenanigans Part 2, 8 p.m. Central Time. Click the notification button. And uh, let me know if y'all want to do the Zooms. Just email me. Email me if you want to do the Zoom private meetings. You don't have to show yourself for the conversation Red Cup Zoom. Only for the exercise. So put in the email address. In the subject line, Zoom meeting or Zoom exercise. Again, it's readyrocks1966 at gmail.com. You spell it R E A D I I R O X, another X, as in Xavier, the number 1966 at gmail.com. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We ain't always agree, but we grown. We can agree to disagree. If anybody got anything to say, say it respectfully even if you don't agree with what i'm saying it's a way to say anything respectfully i don't believe in calling people out their names and all that stuff not no hoes b-i-t-c-h's i might be like you a little slow or something depending on how you come to me but uh, you ain't gonna hear me do all that that's 
I don't have energy for it, and I don't have a desire to do it. So, y'all, enjoy y'all day. I'll see y'all later with more content. Depends on what I see out here. Talk to you later. Love y'all. Oh, yeah, don't forget the Cash App and the PayPal. Cash App, Malachi the Goat 13. You'll see a picture of my grandson. He's a little chunky man. He's 16. He's a little chunky junkie. So if you see a picture of a young boy, that's him. And the PayPal is Foxy Roxy1966 54 at Gmail. Wait, it's not at Gmail, is it? Okay, Foxy Roxy 196654. It's not Gmail. F O X Y R O X Y 196654. Put that in there, you'll see me. Y'all get under here and make me get some comments. Don't forget to share, y'all. I'm out of here.